Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I figured I would turn the camera on while I am making some hyper clips. So I recently sent a, um, a mail to Miss Gail Gustinelli. And in that mail, I had included a couple um, pretty little paper clips. They're, I mean, they're nothing like extravagant or anything, but they're so simple to make. And I figured, why not show you guys what I'm doing while I'm doing it? So um, there are so many different designs and so many different ideas on how to make paper clips. Like I literally just saw a video this morning um, about how she's making paper clips. And that's what made me think about it. I was like, oh my God, I just made those. And so I figured I would turn the camera on and show you guys how I did it, which is actually pretty ironic because it's very similar to the way she did it. And if you go over to Miss Gail's channel um, shortly, I don't know when she posts or when she's going to post it because I don't even think she has it yet. But um, but she'll show you that I made the same thing. And it was just like, it's so amazing that like so many great minds think I'll like, like it is just, it's really, really amazing. So anyway, I figured I would come on here and show you what I did. So, um, basically I have my little basket of little teeny tiny doilies because some of them, obviously some of them are going to be a little big, but some of them like this one would be perfect. It's super tiny. Um, so anyway, I have this. I also have beside me a um, a basket full of paper. Or not paper. Oh, I do have a basket full of paper. I'm actually trying to move that out of my way. But I have a basket full of um, paper flowers is what I was trying to get at. And um, right now I'm just trying. I thought I did this before I turned the camera on. But apparently, I just have to be complicating and get everything out of my way. And here's some little bling blings. These were actually uh, given to me recently in a um, as a thank you gift um, for one of the orders that I placed. It was actually a D-Stash order, again. Um, but I went back and looked, and I didn't do a video for it because she doesn't have any left. She only has the sari silk. So the D stash, it was like gone like that it was like, well, okay, then <laughs> uh, anyway, that was a free gift from her. And I am going to keep that out. Um, I have like little doily bits all over the place. So you're going to need something um, small, whether it's seam binding, whether it's um, small lace, like you could do lace. If you have little tiny laces, um, if you have silk ribbon, that is another great one to do. Like I have silk ribbon here. Um, I'm not sure if you want to mess with sequins. I normally don't, but I do have a new tool somewhere that allows me to play with the sequins. And I believe that's it. Yep, that's the jewel picker. So... I don't know. I might play with the sequins. Um, I haven't actually used this yet, but I don't remember why I bought it. Maybe because I have a ton. Oh my gosh. I have so much. I have totes and totes of sequins because I used to do shaker cards. Anyway, you're also going to need paper clips. Now I'm not going to use all of these paper clips, but I do like the pink ones, especially for like springy time, um, because I can mix that with um, some other ones. And then there's also green ones here that are a little bit smaller. They're little stripied ones. Those are super cute. You can also use um, like buttons as part of your embellishments. They don't have to be super complicating or um, difficult, but do remember whatever you put on the paper clip, it may or may not be inside a journal or a scrapbook or a planner. So keep that in mind when you're making these, especially if you're going to make them to sell. Like I'm actually going to make a whole bunch of these to sell. I'm just going to um, make a bunch of really pretty and I will sell them in themed packages and like 
you'll get, I don't know, five for however much, but it'll be like themed, like Easter themed, Valentine's themed or, you know, whatever. So you're going to pull this, the, this is not sorry silk, although you could use sorry silk. You're going to pull the seam binding through, tie a knot. And that's it. And I want scissors on hand. Small scissors work just fine. Okay, so that might be a little small, even for the little one. But we're going to try it. My big old nails will probably get in the way. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll save that for scraps. So there's one. And basically, um, you're just going to find the end of your seam binding. Come on. I'll try to remember to leave the link uh, to where I got this seam binding. It's actually the same place that I got the D stash of journaling cards. But um, like I said, she doesn't have that available anymore. So, and I do hope this is close enough for you guys. I left it zoomed in. I don't remember the last thing we were doing, but I was zoomed in for something. So I tie the knot and I do this assembly style. So I will go through everything I do, pretty much everything I do is assembly style. So I will go through and I will just tie a whole bunch of knots on some paper clips. Once I have the knots all tied up, I will go through and I will add some pretty. So you don't have to stick with the same color. I am making this one a little bit bigger because it's a bigger paper clip. But you see how I, I just, I pull a little out, I tie a little, or I tie a knot, and then I cut it. Instead of cutting a whole bunch of tiny pieces, it just makes it easier to pull a little out, tie a knot, and then cut the other side. Because that also ensures that your sides are somewhat the same length. And I don't know about you, but if I cut a piece... Like, for instance, if this was long enough, if I cut this piece and then I tried to tie a knot, one side would have a, a tail that big and another side would have a tail that big. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very good at gauging size. It's a little funny, actually. But you can use all kinds of things. I'm actually going to grab this little tiny piece of lace, this little tiny piece of lace real quick that I had set over here because it's the only piece that's all by itself. Um, so go ahead and grab that, use it, put it on a paper clip. But even these, like, even if it's just these, those are like super, they add so much to a page. Like it's the tiny details. Whenever you go and do things, it's just the tiniest, the tiniest of details. So here's some silver we can do. Let me grab a handful of silver. There's even a white one in there. Um, actually there's a couple white. This was, this must have been my black, white, and silver bucket. I have almost no white left. I'm pretty sure I just grabbed all of the white ones. Oh, there's one. So I use silver and white. I do use colored. Um, I used to do the, the decorative paper clips all the time as well. Oh my gosh. I used to do so much stuff. You guys, like, you guys that haven't been with me forever, oh, girls, guys, I did so much stuff. It was crazy. It's cray cray. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and tie this so we can get it on. Oh, oh, look at that. It's actually somewhat even. Woohoo! Check that out. Okay, so I'm done with that. <laughs> All right, so... We can also switch colors if you want. And I'm just going to try to get this back into its little container holder here. And it's just paper, but it does have the label, which has the color on it. So if I want to go back and buy the same color, it's right there, which is peach. 
And like I said, I will try to leave her link in the description. It's called My Scrap It, My Scrap Cabin Shop. Um, it just says quality paper crafting. Um, like I said, she has some really great prices. Here's some lace. It's a little bit smaller. I recently sold out of this on my shop. This is what I have left. So we can grab that. But I really love this mint color. It is amazing. And I like it when that happens because when it sells out of my shop, that means I get to play with the rest of it. <laughs> Because not very often will I go through and um, like post on the shop, okay, I have, I don't know, 24 inches of this lace. I'll just, I will just uh, keep it and use it. Because most of the laces I keep anyway, um, I keep like a portion of them rather. And, uh, This way I just get to keep a little bit extra. But I absolutely love this lace. Maybe because it's green, I don't know. But those of you who have been here for a second know that my favorite color is actually not a color, but a hue. I love anything that has blue in it. Blue, green, teal, turquoise, purple, violet. Lavender, all of it. I love all of it. Maybe we can put the green on the green. That might be a little big, though, because this is not a small lace. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. So you literally just, uh, I was just going to use up this particular lace and then go on to the next step. But you just keep going. If you have like a little bit of ribbon left, you can use that up. Um, it's a great way to use up scraps too, especially if you have like small pieces of small laces or ribbons or ties or anything like that. This is a great way to use them. And like I said, just tying them in a knot on the paper clip adds so much detail to your work. I mean, it's a great book like a bookmark if you're a big reader it's a great bookmark to use um if you're a journaler you can like again mark your place in the journal there's a lot of journalers out there a lot of planners out there like this is such a great embellishment no matter what kind of crafting or hobby that you're into because even if you're doing jewelry work like I have, I don't have books, but I am actually looking into books and it's great to just have that, just a little bit of something extra just to keep your place in your book, you know, um, even if you don't do any, any of the, the crafts, it's like my daughter, my daughter's in school right now. It would be a great thing for her for a uh, bookmark. Like they're amazing bookmarks because they're cute and they're pretty. And so simple to make. Like, I just made a boat tone of these. And honestly, I could just be like, I'm done. I'm not going to, because I want to show you how you can make it a little bit more. All right, I've got two more big clips, and I think I've got enough lace to do them both. I hope. All right, and that's my last big clip. And that is one of the great things about the um, the sari silk or the seam binding is you can use it on big clips or little clips. Like with this particular lace, because it's a little wide, it's about a half inch lace, half inch wide lace. So because it's a little wide, I think that it might be a little difficult to put on a smaller paper clip and we can use this a little bit later too so let's go ahead and move the extra paper clips out of the way um 
we're just going to open this up and I'm going to use the lid. Actually, these all go in the same spot, except for the white ones. We'll just use the lid. Okay. So now that we have all of these things, we're done with the seam binding for now. So let's move that out of the way. Now what you want to do is you want to find anything that can go on top of them. And that can be anything from big and bulky to tiny and like flat. I think we're done with the scissors for now. So what I did uh, in the ones that I sent my scale, this is like a little packet that I got from Michael's a long, long time ago. I love this envelope. I keep like using it and reusing it and using it and reusing it. Um, not because it's easy to open because it's not, but I like the sound of it. So here is a blue and a cream color. And let's see, we'll do a brown. That'll be really pretty. And we'll do a pink. So these are actually pretty easy to do. Um, although you want to do them before you get them tied off. I didn't think about that. So let's grab, I think the pink will look good with all of them. Let's grab a little bit of pink real quick. Um, one, two, what do we do? Four. All right. One, two, three. We'll just do one of each. And four. Okay. There we go. All right. So this is what you want to do with this one. You want to put your bead because it is a bead. You can find these in, um, I want to say it's a uh, bargain bead box has subscriptions and you can find these in there if you're a beater. Um, but you can also find them on their website as well. So there is your bead, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to put the sari silk or seam binding, either one. And I say them both because sari silk is very, very thin, like seam binding. So you're going to tie it. But when you tie it, you want to make sure that you're tying it on one side of your bead. And you're going to actually double knot this because you're going to need to tie it one more time. And the reason that we're tying it one more time is so we can move it to the other side. So right now, the knot is on this side here. Okay. When we tie it again, we're going to move it to the other side of the bead on this side. Okay. And you might need to actually cut it because it makes it a little easier to work with. Okay. And that is it. And you can loosen it up a little bit. So it's still a little mobile, but not too terribly bad. And now you have a cute little flower on your paper clip. And that is as simple as the ones that I sent Miss Gail. That's it. Just a little bit of seam binding with a rose. That is it. All right. So let's do cream on the green one and we'll do the brown one on the white one and the blue one on the blue one all right so i like to pull them all the way up like that So they're at the top of the paper clip. Okay. Now we're just going to do this one more time. And this is why I like to do the assembly line because this takes a little bit longer to do. But I did want to show you guys the ones that I made for Miss Gill. Um, 
because like I said, that's kind of what started this whole thing because I was like, oh, look at that. And then I saw, like I said, I saw that video this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, I literally just did that. Let me show these people how to do it. Or at least how I did it. Because I doubt very seriously I'm showing you anything you don't already know. Uh, because there are tons and tons and tons of videos out there on simple altered paper clips. And this is probably the simplest that you can get. Tie a bow around a paper clip. And that is it. That is it. And like I said, you can definitely add more to it. You can um, just leave it as is. You don't have to do like the big embellishments. Just adding just the ribbon alone will add a lot of detail to your work or to your craft or to your book or to your journal or your planner or your whatever. All right, and then the last one here is pink and brown. I love pink and brown combination, by the way. I just like colors. I like most colors. Now, after going through my beads, <laughs> that was funny. After sorting out my beads, because I actually sorted my beads by color um, instead of by like who made them or where I bought them or anything like that, because that sorting them out by where I bought them is not going to benefit me when I want to make something. Like I don't, I've never really understood that. I know a lot of people that sort out um, digitals also by where you bought them. Now I understand having them in folders, like, okay, I bought these from Shabby Dabby Doodah, or I bought these from Artie Mays or something like that. And it's in a folder, but then put all of the floral together, all of the pastels together and, you know, whatever. Anyway, so there are those, those are done. And so that's it. Super simple. Now that part's done. Now let's see what else do we have here. So we've got some uh, some resin flowers. Those will be super pretty. Let's grab a couple of those. We are going to need some glue at this point. So far, we've only needed scissors, but now we're going to need some glue. I'm just going to grab a couple of each here. I think one of each is good. All right. Now I'm going to be using art glitter glue. If you don't have art glitter glue, you can use any thick PVA or tacky glue. Um, it works the same. Um, it is really good for plastics. And let's see, where do we want to put this? Is that going to work there? Oh yeah, that'll work there. Um, oh, these might work better though. Okay. So I think I want to do the pink. All right, and then you just carefully kind of set that aside, let that dry, grab another one. Here is a pink one. And we'll do the pink and pink. Like that. Okay, let's see. Yep. Just wanted to make sure y'all can still see me. And I'm putting a good generous amount of glue here because I am squishing it at the same time. So I'm kind of pushing the knot down together, pushing the glue into the seam binding. So it kind of like pushes beyond that first layer, getting glue all over my mat, which isn't really that big of a deal because it's, it's just a placemat. So again, here, I'm going to put a good decent amount of glue because I want it to kind of push down into the layers. 
I'm gonna hold that for a half a second. Okay, set that aside. Let's see, grab another one here. So I don't know if you guys notice, um, but I prefer to have the small part of the paper clip behind the work. Like whenever you're paper clipping something together, like I always put this part right here in the back. Like I flip it over and put it in the back. Does anybody else do that? Whether it's always the small part or always the big part. Do you always make, like, do you make sure that it's always the same way regardless? So this one I'm going to have to hold for a half a second because it does not want to attach to this lace. So let's grab, well, let's grab another one because I'm a glutton for punishment and I like trying to be able to push that down. You can also use hot glue if you wanted to kind of like immediately grab it, but uh, hot glue is not going to hold the plastic effectively. In my opinion, I am not a glue expert. Uh, there are many, many, many people that disagree with me on adhesives and that is okay because that is the glory of what we do we all have different opinions and we all have different likes and whatnot and you are still not working now this is our glitter glue this is supposed to be like the best of the best of the best and it's supposed to grab like instantaneously but this is not grabbing instantaneously it is not happening at all so what i'm going to do is i am going to put just the tiniest bit of hot glue back behind this so it does actually grab and get the fuzz out of there that way it can dry and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side I'm just going to put the tiniest bit of hot glue back there so it can grab set just like that and that way it can just sit okay oh i just put glue on my band-aid okay so that's all of the flowers that we did we can also do um buttons like well these aren't your traditional buttons but they are owls and they're wooden but you can also do button buttons um, there's a green, there's a pink, there's another pink, a red, a blue, and an orange. All right. Oh, there's a yellow down there too. Come here, yellow. All right. I think we might have enough of the silver to do these. One, two, three, four, five five six well this one might work all right so i'm going to try to put hot glue here and as well as the art glitter glue and i'm just kind of pushing glue into the lace here Oi, oi, in the way. I grab my little pink owl here and push him down, her, him, or it, whatever. You know what I mean. Okay. And then let that sit as well. And then I don't know if we're going to have enough for all of them. Okay. Same thing with this one. Pour a little bit of glue all over the place. Alright. Put a little bit of glue right there on top. Grab our owl and squish. And squish. Because we're not necessarily trying to adhere it to the paper clip. We're trying to adhere it to the lace. 
That way it gives it a little bit of freedom so it can like move around. But it's still attached to the lace. I mean, it'll come off if you rip it off, but it's generally speaking, it's not going to go anywhere. All right. So again, we're going to finish up the owls and then we're going to show you everything that we made. And I'd say 30 minutes. Yep. 30 minutes. All right. Let's do the green. The green looks good. And doing the dual um, glue actually just allows me to ensure that I'm getting glue back like into the layers of lace. It's not necessary. You could pick one. You could do just the hot glue if you really wanted to. But see how my fingers were like this and I have the art glitter glue on the back of my hand. It's because it's going down into the layers of lace. And that's what you want because it's really going to add to that structure of the paper clip without it being stuck in one spot you could if you really wanted to you could just slide it off of the paper clip itself and use it in something else but adding the glue the hot glue basically just allows me to instantaneously grab the whatever it is to the lace and then it'll give time for the art glitter glue to dry Okay, and so we have done almost every one of these paper clips that we have set out to do. Okay, I was just making sure this wasn't one of the ones that we already did and it just fell apart because like I said, this art glitter glue is not grabbing nearly as quickly as you'd think it is. Because, I mean, it does grab normally fairly quickly, but it also is not normally a big blob of it. It's normally like a very thin layer, and it's normally paper to paper. I don't use it for that. It's way too expensive for that. I use it for uh, different mediums, wood, plastic, metal. Um, I still really like E6000 for metal. I really do. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's ever going to get me out of that one. Glass as well. I really like E6000 for glass. I don't know, maybe one day I'll make a list of the different types of glue that I like to use. Now, I actually only have, um, what is this, four, four paper clips left to do. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do those, and then I'll show you everything that we've done, because that's, that's it. Like, that's, that's everything. So I've got the one owl, and then I need to find four things to go over here, and that's it. And then we're done. We've done everything that we tied onto paper clips in a, less than an hour. My husband's in there cooking and it smells so good. I don't even know what he's cooking, but it smells good. It smells like he's cooking bacon, <laughs> which I mean, he might be making like a BLT or something like that. It is lunchtime. All right. So there's that one. Let's find four things to go on here. Now, these can be anything from flowers. Um, let's see, we've got some flowers that we could do. We can make them bigger. We do have one big, two big paper clips. I think this one might be a little too big, but you could do flowers. But again, just keep in mind that you want them to be flat. And maybe you don't. Maybe you want to add the paper clip uh, as an embellishment on the cover of something. So I like these. These are like little holographic. I'm not sure what the shape of these are, but uh, they're really pretty. They're like holographic. So you could actually do like a combination here. And... I'm going to put those with these.
Right, let's do one like that. Um, let's do this one. All right. And then a tiny bit of glue right there. A little plastic piece right there. That is not going to stay. All right. Put that hot glue right there. Okay. Hot glue right there. Man, this art glitter glue is, we're going to have, we're going to have issues art glitter glue. All right. I'm sorry. I think I'm the only person on the planet that probably doesn't like art glitter glue. But I've had nothing but problems with the dang thing. It's just, ugh. But then again, I try to use it for everything except for paper to paper. Which is probably why I'm like the only person that doesn't like it. Um, I'm just going to use just regular, um, just these guys now. So we're just going to set it right there. Hold it for a second. I hope. Um, okay. All right. I think that one grabbed. Ugh. Where'd you go? There. All right. Let's do the, I don't know which one I want to do here. Let's do the orange. Orange with orange. How about I just don't touch it? I'm just going to put it there and not touch it <laughs> instead of trying to push it down. Maybe that'll work. Just not touch it. Just set it there and leave it alone. All right, where's my pen? There you are. You're hiding. All right, so in less than 40 minutes, we made a, a boatload of little paper clips. And like I said, um, this was kind of a combination of, wow, I should do that because I literally just made a whole bunch or I made two, I made two, two clips for Miss Gail in something that I had sent her to separate something. It was literally just to separate something, but I wanted to make it a little bit prettier. So I made a couple of these little guys right here. That was it. Nothing special, nothing fancy, nothing like that. But then I saw a video this morning and it was uh, G. Kerr, and um, she was making little pretty paper clips. And I was like, wow, that is so cool. I love how so many of us think alike. It's just, it's so amazing, and I love it. And um, I like seeing all the different varieties. I think in the video that she used, or she did, she did um, silk flowers, like um, it was a ribbon. And she cut the ribbon apart and used the little individual flowers, and then uh, from that she added um, like little flat backs like and I have the flat backs I was going to use them and decided not to I even brought out my things so I could use glitter but but yeah you can definitely get a lot for just a little bit of effort and time so we've got four of these guys here with our little flowers and pearls and so that's four and then we've got four of these guys here where'd the other one go did I throw it somewhere? Where did you go? I know I made one because I have it with the little flower on it. I've lost. Oh, there it is. Okay. So anyway, so there's four of these little guys here. So that's four. And then there is quite a bit with the owl, which I think is really really cute by the way so there's one two three four five six seven so there's seven with the owls then there are one fuzz two Three, 
four and five with the roses. So, I mean, it's just, it's, it's really, really cool how you can just make so much stuff in such a little tiny amount of time. So there's 12 and there's, wait, one, two, three, four, five. There's 20. We made 20 pretty paper clips in less than 40 minutes. So I'm really anxious and excited to see what you guys can come up with and how you make your pretty paper clips. Don't forget, uh, join the Facebook group in the description box and you can post all of your pictures of your creations, whether it's from this video or other videos. I'm really, really, really anxious to see what you guys come up with and I can't wait. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.